Okay, so we're working in PowerPoint 2016 and we're in Module 9 and this is the second section where we're going to talk a little bit about formatting our tables. Now in the first section we actually created a couple of tables. One we put in straight from our ribbon and the second one we put in based on a button that was actually on our slide when we inserted it. So now what I want to do is take you in and show you how to work with some of the formatting options available for tables. So we've got our tables here and they don't look too bad, but I want to change them a little bit. Maybe some colors, just some centering, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the table. So I'm going to go ahead and select all the rows like this. And notice now I've got a table tools contextual tab. Now the first thing I want to look at are the table styles right here. And notice that I'm currently using this particular one. But if I use my scroll bar here, I can see there are lots of different styles I can pick from. Now they're actually set up by different groups. They've decided that these would be the best match for my particular template that I'm using. But I could choose from the light variations here. I could choose from the medium ones down here or you'll notice there's also some dark ones at the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one right now. So you'll notice that in this case I have a header row that's black and then the rest of this is this green color, a couple different greens. Now that I have my table style in, if I wanted to actually change a particular color or a particular border or effect, I can do that using these options right up here. So I'm going to select my header row because I don't like that black. And I'm going to choose the shading option. And so I can come down the list and choose any color of shading that I would like. So let's say I choose one of these blues. I'll just pick this one. So it matches a little bit better. It's not quite as crisp as that black was. Now I want you to notice also that when we picked a style every other row was the same color here. Those are called banded rows when every other row looks the same. Now let's say I want to do a few other things. I'll go ahead and select my table again. I do have a borders option. So notice if you want to put an outside border on your table you could. Now it's not very thick so you're going to notice that it's a little bit hard to see but if I click outside border and click away from my table I can see it right there. It looks like it's a really light color. Now also I could have picked from some of the effect options. Notice I can pick what they call cell bevel. So as I move my mouse over the different ones you can see what they're going to look like. Also if I want to put a shadow around my object I can do that. And if I wanted to actually work with the reflection options, I could do that too. So you can always pick from cell bevel, shadow, and reflection. Now, don't forget I have another table that I want to look like that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select this table, and I'm going to choose some of the same options. So maybe I'll start with that same shading style that we had chosen earlier. And I'll go ahead and choose the same teal color that we use for our shading. And then down here you'll notice I've still got that green so that looks good. Now a couple of other things I might want to do. I might want to take my titles and center them. So I'm going to select my first row and then I'm going to go back to the Home tab for a moment. Because remember this is where you have your font options. So I'd like in this particular case to go ahead and use my paragraph grouping here and center these within each cell. And if I want to do that down here as well, I can certainly do that. Now if I want to select everything else, I could do that too. I'll just go ahead and select it and use my centering button to do that. So all of your font options and your paragraph options are going to work here as well. Now let me go back to table tools. Now a couple of other quick things. 
Here's your word art styles. Now, we're not using word art in this particular case, but when we talk about word art a little bit later, you can use your word art to change the text and the way it looks within your table as well as just regular word art. Also, when you have borders, you can draw them over here. So if you wanted to turn your mouse to a pen, then you'd be able to use the pen style, pick a pen color, and draw your table. So that's some of your table options that you have. Just go ahead and play with some of those and get real familiar with how it works. Now that we've actually formatted some of our tables here, let me show you how to take tables that you might have over in other Microsoft Office applications and insert those into your PowerPoint presentation. I'll see you over in Section 3. Hi, I'm Molly. Thanks for watching. If you need additional Microsoft Office 2016 training, check out our multi-hour training courses for Office 2016. Click the Learn More button on the left, and I'll see you next week with additional videos.